integral part of our training was demolitions training. An officer from each company was required to take a one-month demolition course and then instruct all the members of his company in proper demolition techniques. Many of the abandoned buildings in the Helena countryside contained mining equipment. We used this equipment to show how well we had learned our demolition techniques. This, on this day, this one particular practice demonstration will always remain a warm memory. It was a beautiful explosion, but it seems that we had used a little too much explosive. Unfortunately, we caught a little bit of the surrounding area on fire and were required to remain there for 10 days to help put the blooming thing out. We might not have minded so much if someone would have remembered to bring food for a cookout. Here we are practicing on one of the smaller bridges in the area. The first charge laid sausage style across the bridge didn't do quite as much damage as we had hoped. So we all took a course in how to unload dynamite. Of course, we all knew it was safe to handle dynamite in this manner. I think. We decided this time to use a little more explosive. And after st starting the fuse, we all ran back to watch. Another job well done. Here we see Lieutenant Woodard and Lieutenant Ryan examining the damage. A short time later, we all made preparations to go to Libby, Montana to practice our newly learned skills on an old railroad trestle bridge.
these roadside stops were certainly enjoyed by all. And here was our bridge. We attempted to blow this bridge up with three different size charges. One small charge did no damage. One medium-sized charge managed to drop a section of the bridge neatly into the water. And one charge a little larger than normal managed to destroy a great deal. It seems, however, that the noise from this particular blast had quite an interesting effect on some of the homes in the surrounding area.